Remote Ticket Entry is a software program where you may completely enter your tickets online through a portal designed especially for our remote users. After you enter the ticket, you immediately get your ticket number along with the date and time the ticket becomes valid. Training to use the portal is free. Many prefer to self-train by watching the tutorials located on our website that are linked to YouTube. We have created a training portal where you are encouraged to go to and enter as many practice tickets as you would like. If you prefer a personalized class, we will set you up. Personalized training classes are done online and typically take about an hour to an hour and a half, depending on the complexity of the tickets that you enter. Entering a ticket in the portal is fast, simple, and easy. The same policies and procedures apply to the tickets that you enter as the ones that you follow when you call 811 and have one of our agents enter your tickets. After the initial sign-up process, each time you log into the system, your excavator information will be on each ticket that you enter. You are able to easily change the contact person on every ticket by clicking Update Information, or if you prefer, you can leave the same contact on all your tickets. There are two main sections to the ticket following the excavator information, the work location portion on the ticket and the mapping. When completing the work location information, you may tab through the fields or put your cursor in the field you wish to type in. Any red fields are required fields. Any fields that have an arrow to the right of them expand and will give you choices. The information you are completing is the same information that you are asked when you call in your ticket. The work location section identifies the address or location that needs marked as well as directions to the area that needs marked and the marking instructions. The locators do not see the map, therefore the information provided in this section of the ticket is very important. The valid date and time, update date, an expiration date are located in the work location portion of the ticket. These times cannot be adjusted in the portal. The time on the ticket is central time. Only normal tickets are allowed to be entered in the portal if you have a special request, such as an emergency, second notice, short notice, damage, or a correction to a ticket, you would call the Tennessee 811 Center for assistance. You may only have one dig street per ticket and up to 2,000 linear feet per ticket or up to a 500 foot radius of an intersection on one ticket. After completing the work location information, you are ready to begin the mapping process. Our mapping software is located on the bottom right side of the ticket screen and is very similar to other mapping programs that you may have used. When you mark the map, that automatically generates a ticket to the member utilities that have underground facilities buried in the area that you have marked on the map. Our GIS department works closely with our member utilities to ensure that maps are constantly updated when there are utilities added to an area. You may only use one marking tool per ticket. We have Mark Radius, Mark Point, Mark Line, and Mark Area. The Mark Radius tool will be used to mark a radius of an intersection or if you are working at a location off the road and need a large radius of a specific point marked, you could use this tool. The mark point would be used for specific areas or 911 addresses. The mark line would be used for any distance along a road, such as a mileage locate. The mark area tool will be used for any large areas to mark or large properties. Any property or location that is over 300 foot in road frontage or depth should be marked with this tool. When you expand the Layers tab, you will find Orthos. When Orthos is enabled, it will show an aerial view of the area. This is a great tool to assist you with finding locations that may not be on the map yet, or it can be useful when working on larger properties when trying to determine how far off the road you would go to get to your excavation site. Once you find the location you are working at on the map, mark the map using the correct marking tool. Then submit your ticket and get your ticket number. You will automatically be emailed a copy of your ticket. Many people have discovered that updating their tickets online saves them valuable time. To update your tickets, you will go under Find Ticket. Enter your ticket number and hit Search. The ticket will appear on the right of the screen. Verify the company name to make sure that it is your ticket. Verify that it is a normal type ticket. Verify the address is the one you need remarked. Verify the mapping. 
Go back to the front of the ticket and select the Update button. This box will open up. Type your name in here and hit OK. You immediately get a new ticket number with a new valid date and time. It's seriously fast and the way to update tickets, especially if you have a high volume of tickets to update. If you have subcontractors, or if you are a subcontractor and you want to copy a ticket from another excavator into your company's name, go under Find Ticket again. Here you will type in the ticket number that you wish to copy, hit Search. The ticket will appear on the right of the screen. Verify that it's the address you need to have marked, then select the Copy button. It will open the ticket up in the ticket screen. You will notice under the excavator side of the ticket that it now reflects your company information. In the work location portion of the ticket, you would make any necessary changes to the type of work being done, who the work is being done for, and change marking instructions if needed. You would remove any information that doesn't apply to your company from the remarks section of the ticket, verify that the mapping is correct, and hit submit. You will immediately receive a ticket number reflecting your company name on the ticket. As a portal user, you have complete access to Tennessee 811's mapping. You are able to access the entire ticket entry system, not just your tickets. When working in the portal, we encourage you to use the Google Chrome browser. When entering tickets, remember that this is a legal document you are completing and it is very important that all information is entered accurately and the map marked correctly. This ensures that the correct utilities are notified and no one gets hurt while digging.